Hi there and welcome back to my channel. So I have a full face of makeup. I am just missing my eyes. That is because we are playing with the Riviera palette today. This is a brand new palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just picked mine up and I'm really excited to go ahead and get started testing it out on the eyes, seeing how it performs. So this is going to be like a first impression. So if you guys want to see what look we come up with, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> morning so that I could go to my Ulta to get this one. So it is a new palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have not opened it yet. So this is going to be like a true first impressions. I haven't seen it other than it, there was like a little display in Ulta, but I didn't swatch anything or anything like that. So I'm excited to see the actual palette. So here is the packaging on it. This one is the Riviera palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a new release from them with this collection. She also released some highlighters as well as a new setting mist. They didn't have those at my Ulta. Um, they also released some brow products as well, like, like a new brow gel. Um, they did have those, but I ended up not getting those just because I feel like I'm pretty happy with the brow products I do have in my collection right now. I don't think I need that. So I did just get the palette. So it was $45 so here again is the packaging on it it has a bit of a like I don't want to say it's like a smooth but it kind of has a bit of a velvety touch to it kind of like the other palettes it's not velvet though because it's not as smooth as the other ones but I will go ahead and show you guys the inside of the palette so here is the inside so we have 14 different shades to this palette it obviously has a mirror as well this one is actually $45 instead of the typical $42 I'm not really Really sure why we have an extra like couple dollars on there because they all their palettes are normally 42 so for some reason I guess this one's just a little special it needs to be 45 but yeah so this one is $45 you do get the 14 different shades it looks like there are actually in this palette there is going to be eight matte shades it looks like and then six shimmer shades in here so I am going to go ahead and swatch them I think that that's kind of going to determine what shades I end up putting on my eyes. So let's go ahead and swatch them so I can figure that out. Okay, so here are the swatches of all 14 of the shades. I have to say that they all swatched very nicely. I didn't go over any of them more than once. I did get a little bit of staining on my hands with those like more pinky shades. But here is the final swatches. So the shade that I think I wanna put all over the lid is this one right here. I think it's really pretty. It's kind of like a blue like a blue purple almost. It's really gorgeous. I want to go for that deep blue, but I kind of want to do something different. I don't know. These shades look really fun. I'm kind of curious to see what I come up with. So I don't go ahead and start on the eyes. The palettes always do come with a brush. I normally don't use these. I think they're an okay blending brush, but it's just not my preferred way of applying my shadows. So I am just gonna grab my Morphe. This is my M433. And I think the first shade that I'm gonna go into is the shade Estate, which is this one right here. I think that's the first shade I'm gonna go ahead and dip into. So again, they're gonna be powdery. That is the formula that Anastasia has. So like when I touch it, it already kind of breaks apart. They're very powdery shadows. So I always kind of remember that when I am using Anastasia's formula that the shades are just very, very soft. So you kind of have to apply light pressure when it comes to like dipping your brush into the pan just so you don't hit pan on them and you kind of don't like break apart the shadow. You just have to be really gentle with it. Can you tell I put on my Riviera gear? I have on a necklace that has like a little anchor on here. I have a striped shirt on even knowing it is so cold in my house right now. I'm wearing sleeveless because I feel like it goes with the theme of this palette. And I was actually really excited about this one when I seen it launch. I'm gonna next go into the shade Coastline which is just a little bit more of a salmon color as well. This one's just like a little bit deeper than the first shade. So I was really excited actually when I seen this launch. I feel like it kind of screams like spring and summer and I'm really starting to get into more of like brighter shades and kind of getting away from, you know, like the fall vibes. So I was really excited when I seen this launch because I love bright palettes. You guys know I love playing with color. So I think that this one actually appealed to me as soon as I thought I knew I wanted it. Anastasia always has some of my favorite shadows when it comes to the formula of the shadows. So I knew this would be one that I would be interested in. So that second color is again blending out nicely and it's looking great over top of the first shade that we went in with. 
All right, so now I want to play with the pink because this one has me really curious. So this one is the shade Bahamas. It's this bright, bright pink in the palette. And I'm just curious to see how this one's going to blend because it seems very, very vibrant. So I'm going to pack this on and start to blend it out. I'm just curious to see how this one's going to blend. Sometimes with those brighter shades like this, I feel like I have a bit of a hard time with them. So we will see. Uh, it actually seems like it's blending out okay. It looks a little bit chalky like in this area here, but I haven't really started to blend yet. So we'll see once I blend it all out. It's definitely very vibrant. Like it's just as vibrant on the eye as it is in the pan. I will say that I did just prep my eyes with concealer. I didn't use like an eyeshadow base or anything like that, but I bet if you used like the P. Louise base or something, this would be a really, really vibrant pink. So there it is all over. And I do think it's like a little bit harsher in this area here. I'm just gonna try and blend that out a little further. I'm just gonna drag it on the lid because we are gonna have an all over lid color. So that doesn't really bother me if it is. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now that looks much more blended. It was just a little harsh right in that area. So I don't think that that's actually hard to blend. I was worried it was gonna be a little bit more difficult, but I actually think it blended out pretty nicely on this eye, so we'll see as long as it goes nicely on this eye. I'm excited to play with the shimmers. I love Anastasia's formula of shimmers. They're some of my favorite. My favorite way to apply them is with my fingers, so that's probably what I'm going to do for this look as well. So we have the pink all over the lid now, and I wanna go in with a shimmer shade. So the one that I wanna use is Mediterranean. I think that this one looks so unique. I don't know that I have another color like this in my collection. So I am just gonna use this with my finger at first. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this, being very gentle with it because I know, again, you have to be careful with them in the pan. And I'm going to just apply this all over my lid. And I'm going to carve this out a bit. Oh, that's pretty. Um, Carve it out a bit too, but I'm gonna just kind of first apply it with my finger. And then I'll go in with my brush and kind of clean it up a little bit. I actually took my nails off, so I have shorter nails now, so it makes it a lot easier to put shades all over my lid with my finger now that I don't have like really long nails. I love the formula of the shimmers on the lid when you have your finger. I feel like it looks so good. They just kind of melt, I feel like, into your lid. It looks so pretty. Oh, I love this color. I don't know that I have another color like this. I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a purpley pink shade. I think it's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit higher. I actually don't know that I even need to use the brush because I feel like I was able to get it pretty good with my fingers. I'm loving this color. So cool. I can't wait to try out like the blue shade as well. I'm definitely gonna be playing with this one tomorrow. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, definitely check me out on Instagram because I'm gonna be playing with this one a bunch in like future tutorials for sure. I am getting a little bit of fallout with this shade which I was kind of thinking I would. I normally do with the Anastasia formula. Just because it is so soft, I feel like you do kind of tend to get a little bit of fallout. But so far, I'm really liking the actual shades that I've tried so far. All right, so I'm gonna dust away the fallout that we did get. But how fun. This is like perfect for spring. I would love this eye look for like Easter. I think that that would be so cute. So I'm gonna go in now with the under eyes and kind of just do the same thing that I did to the actual lid. I'm just gonna apply those same shades to my lower lash line. So working in with that first shade and then with coastline, just kind of deepening it up a little bit. And then I am gonna apply a little bit of the pink. I don't want it to be too intense. So I'm just gonna tap it off and kind of just tap that on my lower lash line and then blend it in. I don't want it to be too pink. I kind of just want a light wash. I wish that this palette, instead of the matte white, had like a more shimmery white because I like to do that for like the inner corner. So I kind of wish it had a little bit of a shimmer to it instead of just like an all matte white. I am going to apply it to the inner corner just as like a little bit of a highlight with the matte shade, but I'm kind of wishing that it had a shimmery white. I personally don't like it when palettes have matte whites because I just don't really get much use out of them. That's just me personally. I am going to highlight my brow bone with this and I am going to apply it to the inner corner just to try to use up a little bit of the shades. But I just, I don't know, I don't really love matte whites and that is very intense. Let me go over that with a blending brush because that was a little more intense than I was 
thinking it was going to be. All right, so now we got that on the inner corner. I definitely did brighten it up a bit. All right, so I'm gonna apply some lashes really quickly so we can kind of have like a full eye look going on and then I will be back to get into my final thoughts. All right, so we are back after applying our lashes and I love this eye look even more with the lashes. I really love the shade that I did all over the lid, the Mediterranean shade, I think it's really pretty. I'm really excited to go ahead and dig into the rest of the shades, but so far I really liked the shades that I did use. The matte performed nicely. The shimmer obviously all over the lid is beautiful. So I will keep you guys updated on this palette. I've been doing a new series called the Review Roundup where I'm basically just going to round up all of the first impressions that I did over the month and share my thoughts on them. So this will be in that. So stay tuned for a full review on it. I will have this palette linked down below in case you guys want any more information on it. Let me know if you are planning on picking it up or if you've already purchased it. I would love to know. Give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also, like I said, stay tuned to my Instagram. I will be using this a bunch in tutorials on there. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>